brand new artificial intelligence tool is providing both hope and caution for mimicking human voices. OpenAI is working on a tool called Voice Engine that can create natural speech with just 15 seconds of audio. One of the applications offers reading assistance to children and non-readers. What you're about to hear is a real human speaking. Take a listen. Force is a push or pull that can make an object move, stop, or change direction. All right, now listen to the AI-generated replica of that person's voice. Some of the most amazing habitats on Earth are found in the rainforest. A rainforest is a place with a lot of precipitation, and it has many kinds of animals, trees, and other plants. Uh, not much of a difference. Uh, let's bring in uh, CNN digital producer John Sarlin. John, I mean, that was, that was very close. Uh, tell us more about this voice engine, uh, the good it can do, and I guess obviously there's going to be a downside to all of this stuff, so tell us about that as well. That's right. So this is Voice Engine. This is from OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT. This is not a product that they're releasing to the public yet. They say they've been working on it since 2022. Now, what does it do? As you said, from only 15 seconds of a source audio, it can build a voice synthesis, an AI model of someone's voice that can say anything in any language that you type into it. Now, this is something that other companies have out there. 11 Labs, Google, pretty much anyone working in the AI space has some kind of model on it. What's different here is that 15 second input, a really small amount of input you need to build a powerful voice engine. Now, obviously there are concerns that come along with this. And these aren't some kind of theoretical concerns about how it can be misused in the future. We're already seeing how voice deep fakes can be misused right now. Joe Biden, the robocall in New Hampshire that happened that wasn't a voice. Scammers are using this, this technology. OpenAI says they're aware of those, they're not releasing this to the public yet, but they say there's good this technology can do as well. Uh, one thing they say is, uh, as you mentioned, reading to children, a reading assistance tool. Another way, building someone's voice who lost their voice due to an accident. They uh, posted a clip of a girl who lost her voice due to a tumor, rebuilt her voice using her previous voice using this technology. Take a listen. Hi everyone, this is what my voice sounds like using open AI news hats to speak smile pause voice engine. This is what my voice sounds like using OpenAI's new text-to-speech model called Voice Engine. John, you're back? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about that, what we just listened to there. All right, so that is a, a girl lost her voice due to a brain tubing tumor. OpenAI took a sample of her voice before the accident and built that so she can type in using her natural voice. Yeah, John, I mean, you know, there's obviously going to be a downside to some of this. One has to think, I mean, if you could just take a, a clip of somebody's voice, like we saw with the Biden robocall and replicate it, there, I mean, I, I mean, there are obvious implications here for a lot of political mischief. Right, and, you know, this is not a theoretical concern, as I mentioned before. And when you look at other AI uh, generation models, like photo, like video, voice right now is the most accurate in that you can create something that is imperceptible to, to a human ear. This is really powerful technology already. So on that note, OpenAI says they're not comfortable releasing this to the public at large yet, like they've done with ChatGPT. They say they're uh, cautioning people about where this technology is heading, uh, making specific recommendations like banks should move away from voice, uh, you know, voice authentication yeah. wow. in their statements. Uh, in a statement, they say they're taking a cautious and informed approach to a broader release due to the potential for synthetic voice misuse. We hope to start a dialogue on the responsible deployment of synthetic voices and how society can adapt to these new capabilities. We recognize that generating speech that resembles people's voices has serious risks, which are especially top of mind in an election year. We are engaging with U.S. and international partners from across government, media, entertainment, education, civil society, and beyond to ensure we are incorporating their feedback as we build. All right. Very interesting stuff. All right, John uh, Sarlin, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. We'll, we'll stay on top of that uh, 
artificial intelligence story. It's, it's going to take a lot of twists and turns, I think. John, thanks so much. Coming up, what you need.